Hi guys, Brett here from Hands Hobbies and today I would like to take a look at replacing the servo on an 8 scale buggy. But not just any servo, this is a new product from, from Highest called the B600. And this one here is a double ball bearing brushless servo. Um, really good power figures on it. So we're looking at a torque rating of 19.8 kilos at 6 volts and a transit time of 0.13. So it's no slouch, plenty of power. Full metal drivetrain gear components and this is going to be perfect for the application that we're going to put it in which is going to be an 8th scale off-road electric buggy on steering duties. So here we have the beautiful servo case, it is all plastic case and I really like that in off-road vehicles because it does actually do a better job at dampening all the harshness and vibrations out of all the bashing and crashing that goes on. Really nice sticker plate on it. Uh, like I said, metal drivetrain, so it does come with a M3 screw, which is going to be really nice because I want to put a little drop of Loctite on that when we get it fitted. And because it's competition focused and brushless, it's got the all black stealth wiring that us race guys love. So really nice little box there. Stuff that's inside the box, it's going to be some grommets and some fixtures and fittings to get it mounted up. Okay. So without further ado, let's grab the buggy and get it happening. Here I have the Rubik's Weld buggy here. I've got the caracal. We'll get whip that out. There we go. And you can as you can see the servo that came with it has cried no more and it is in fact stripped which is pretty typical of a big heavy buggy that takes a pounding has done a bit of work this buggy just plug in the battery now okay so I'll grab the radio for it right here in the bag You can see here that it's making all sorts of horrible crunching and grinding noises and that will not do for what we need it. So let's get to work on changing it out and putting a new higher servo in there. So I've got my trusty nine steps toolkit here. It will help us get to work working on a sweep pit mat okay so the first thing i'm going to do is get the servo horn off it's a two and a half mil screw on this one i'd say could be a two mil screw we'll get that off and out the way and what's really good about these modern servos is they all interchange so the servo horn, that will be the last thing that we take off. Take, loosen all the servo screws. Really important to use quality tools for when you're working on your buggies. The one and a half mil here. These nine steps hex wrenches are really good super happy with the quality and performance really nice feel and they're lasting really well just taking the lid off now off of the the radio box putting all my screws to the side because I'm going to have to unplug the servo steering servo from the receiver okay beautiful little box here I've got the plug here in channel one we'll go ahead and unplug that there we go so you can see right here I have unplugged the servo now hopefully it's a matter of just lifting the servo out of position 
I might have to take it off from underneath to get the wire out, but let's have a look what we can do for you. Unplug this one. Get that out of the way. And that's coming out really nice. This is one of the easiest servo replacements I've had to do. A testament to a well engineered car. Put the lead back through. Got my little pliers here to help get it up. Just want to make sure that all the cords and cables are nice and secured. In a watertight box, plug the speed controller back in, we'll plug the servo back in, and I will at this point check it to ensure that we have plugged it in the right way, because if we haven't the servo will not work. Nope, one of the byproducts of having all black wiring. Plug it the other way. There we go. We are working. While it's on now, I'll take the opportunity to make sure that the steering trim is at zero. There we go. Just got it here on zero. Then we'll go ahead and turn it off and get this back in. All the wires are nice and out of the way. Nothing's getting squashed. Put the antenna lead inside a little bit. Make sure none of the wires are getting squashed. There we go. And that fits really nice. Everything's nice and tucked in. None of the wires are in the way. It fits really nice. Go ahead and put this back on, this lid. Like so. Then it's just a matter of now that that's secured, I can do up the servo in position in the servo mount. And it's something that you want to put all four screws in, just a couple of turns, just to make sure that it's all sitting nice and central. Get it sitting exactly where you want it. There we go. Now what I love about this high servo range is they are in fact they are in fact 25 tooth spline which is very very common and we can see here by the servo horn on this one it is in fact a 25 spline so this will go straight on. Just getting the trim as central as I can then we can go ahead and I'll put the washer back on. I'll tighten the servo horn up and we'll double check it to make sure that it's fitting all correctly. There we go. Double check these screws. Then we can go ahead and power it up. Feels nice and smooth. Now I've noticed straight away that it's actually operating in reverse to the standard one so it's as simple as putting the throttle reverse switch on this radio and we can see here that the, it's actually steering too far and loading up the servo. 
So I'll go ahead and back off the jewel weight ever so slightly. Beautiful. We have got a really nice action there. Super fast. No more crunchy gears and plenty of torque that's exactly what I want to see so now it's just a matter of fixing the screws of the radio lid the radio box tray and we are done now I'm really looking forward to getting this new B600 servo out and testing it on track it's all new product from highest and let's see what we can do really looking forward i think it's going to be a really good price point and a great performer just do these up and there we go there's one final step i will do now and that is i'm going to put because it is a metal screw and a metal spline i'm actually going to put a tiny drop of Loctite. I've got some medium strength Loctite here. I'm going to put a tiny drop of Loctite onto the screw just to ensure in fact that it will not rattle loose because the last thing we want is a loose and stripped servo horn. We know it's all straight, it's not going to move now. There we go. Double check it. Fantastic. Really, really happy with that. Got, a, got the buggy back up and running. Very simple repair. And it's all pretty common. So don't be scared to change a broken servo on in your 1 8 buggy. Well, I'm Brett from Hearns. And thanks for watching me swap over to the B600 servo.